it's me. So we're going to be looking at the preference shares. There are eight different preference shares, but not too difficult to remember, and the one is opposite of the other. So if you learn four of them, you'll be able to know all eight. You'll need to be able to identify, name, and explain these from given scenarios. So the first one we look at is the one that we call redeemable shares. Then we have cumulative shares. We also have participating preference shares. And the last one is convertible. So remember I said you need to know eight. So the opposite of them, cumulative, would be non-cumulative preference shares. Participating, non-participating preference shares. Redeemable, non-redeemable preference shares. And convertible, non-convertible preference shares. Those are the eight that you will need to be able to identify, name and explain. So we're going to look at each one of these. Right. I like to use the acronym CPRC. Okay, so think of CPR, giving people life, and then just repeat the process again with the C. So the first C stands for cumulative preference shares. Now, if you can remember the C from cumulative or carried forward or compensated. Right, so the unpaid dividends from one year are carried forward to the next financial year when the dividends are paid out. Or you can simply remember you are compensated for past dividends that were not paid out. And so the non-cumulative preference shares is the exact opposite. Your dividends are not carried forward from one year to the next. They are not transferred. So you are not compensated for past dividends that have accrued. So remember I said, remember CPR and then C again, we're on to the P. The participating preference shares. Think of P for profits. Bear that in mind. Shareholders will share in a second dividend in a year when there's surplus profits, right? So when a company has made lots of profit, you're now going to participate in those profits. Can you see the P and the P? So the non-participating preference shares, you only receive your fixed dividend and you do not carry any rights to any excess profits that may be available. CPRC, so we're now on the R, redeemable preference shares. The company will buy these shares back from you at a specific period, right? If they are non-redeemable, these shares are only paid back when the company closes down for reasons other than bankruptcy. Right, we now to the last C, and that is the convertible preference shares. Convertible means to change, right? So shares may be converted to ordinary shares of a fixed period of time, right? They are converted from preference to ordinary shares. Non-convertible preference shares, as you have guessed, may not be changed or converted into ordinary shares. So to recap, when we're looking at the preference shares, remember CPR, and then add a C again. The C stands for cumulative, you're being compensated. The P stands for participating, you are participating in the profits. Redeemable means they will redeem them from you, they will buy them back from you. And convertible, they will change to ordinary shares. Hope that's helped. Once again, have a good evening.